Excitement and anticipation ahead of kickoff time. Here we are at the Estadio de Montelivi. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It is Girona facing Barcelona. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the Girona starting 11. Well, they're playing in a 4 5 1 formation, which is set up to counter attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. And now they get the ball rolling. Riquelme. Garcia. Just cutting off the supply. Dembele. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. Undeniably, one of the great finishers of his generation, Robert Lewandowski. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Yangel Herrera. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Dembele. Dembele. Oh, they've lost it. A decent reading of that ball in. Dembele. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Really well played pass. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Sigankov. Romeu and now Garcia and 
the emphasis is on creativity. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And an astute piece of defending. And space to attack. It should be! And the challenge, crisp and clean. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. Can they get themselves in front here? And there it is! Barcelona strike first in the derby! A real jolt to the home fans! Not what they were expecting! Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball, and it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. restarted and it's Barcelona in front Alex Garcia Herrera in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here Dembele well a joy to watch but a good piece of tidying up Garcia Herrera Alex Garcia Determined defending Straight offside but only just Slipshot passing Romeo, Valentin Castellanos. An encouraging move from Barca, but timely defending when it mattered. Castellanos. Sigankov. Fluency of movement. The supporters want to see him have a go. De Jong played into the centre. A deft clearance. Viktor Tsigankov. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Can they convert? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Sending it in. Romeo. A good and fair challenge. Jordi Alba. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. And it's in! A goal! the team in charge
Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And so that brings the first half to a close here at the Estadio de Montilivi. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. So the second half is underway, and I must say it really was a spellbinding performance from Barcelona in the first 45. This looks threatening. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, what a brilliant save that was. How did he keep that out? Or well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Big chance. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. highly promising but they got nothing out of it Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position and he clears the danger Barcelona free kick it'll be here and he was floating with trouble but the referee has decided not to hand out a yellow card Long way out this. Well, the free kick was on target, but the goalkeeper acquitted himself magnificently to hang on to that. And possibilities here. A deep delivery. And cleared away. Sigankov. He could really get at the opposition. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. <laughs> Teammates available. But quick thinking defensively. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Riquelme. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Well, no surprise there. Barcelona have enjoyed most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, who knows? Maybe another opportunity in the works for them. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, no damage done. Promising looking ball. How can they create something? Oh, good save. Yet another tremendous save to add to the list. Now they're on the scent of something positive. Chance to cross, surely! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, 
now they've decided to make a change. Delivering it. Not away completely. Can he put it in? A goal! As they cut it to their advantage. Still plenty of life in this match. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Ball is rolling again. Who won the score? What's going to happen next? Santiago Bueno. Viktor Tsigankov. Garcia with it. It's looking promising. Really good block. 15 minutes left for play. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And that puts him in position. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And the play stopped, they will make the change now. see about the delivery well not quite the header he had in mind and the goalkeeper gobbling that one up the high press was very much on 10 minutes to go then Alex Garcia retaining possession proving difficult Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Tempele takes aim. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Over it comes. And still dangerous. Well, hard. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Well, fair to say, not one for the archives. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. That's a poor effort.
Samu Saiz. Tony Villa. Herrera. Garcia. Castellanos. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. He takes aim. The final whistle is sounded and it's a victory for Barcelona. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, a meaty role played by Frankie de Jong. Sensational performance from him on all levels. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your analysis. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this full match highlights. If you want to see more, click to the left. If you want to check out the top 10, click to the right. Appreciate all the support. Make sure you like and subscribe if you do want to see more.